Why would she not be expecting you if you came here to find Alfred and he's not here? You might be underestimating her a little bit. Everything good? Borderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it then. The children of Arkham have taken over. That suits no slouch. You're well prepared for a fight. And the GCPD are on their way to deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. Where is the staff? Subtle. Batman. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Wait, does she not know? Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. No one's dying tonight. You really think you're in control here? <laughs> Your confidence is impressive, but that won't save the butler or the rest of Gotham. A lesson needs to be taught. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you've suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. Whoa! Nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Where is the police? He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me at him. He's the crazy one! Oh, I'll be okay. Same thing here. We need to book it. It's not safe here anymore. Why is no one talking? <laughs> oh my god, look at all this chaos. In a place like an asylum or like a prison, it only takes one little thing and you got chaos everywhere. You're not getting away, Vicky. Oh, who can I save? Uh... Already fractured the orderly's cheek and nose. Given much longer, we'll crush the orderly's trachea. I feel like the orderly should be... Pretty powerful too to be orderlies, but 
I guess when they're all revolting, can't really stop it. Leland. Let's keep an eye out for Joker, by the way. He should be around here. Oh. Lady Arkham. The door. The light fixture. Or the table. How about the light fixture? Well, this is really all in my head, but I hope it works out. There's really no telling. Pleasure to see your work in person. Oh, thank God. Uh oh. Batman! Lady Arkham has a hostage. We've got the inmates. Lock it down. Where's Gordon? There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Ooh! Batman, gotta be a little bit more careful. You gotta think about why she would even be inside a room by herself. It's to lure you into a trap. Vicky! <laughs> Vicky, show yourself! <laughs> What is this place? Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. She doesn't Can know. You find him? It's you. He's probably cowering behind him. 12 inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. She knows. She knows. Oh. Syringe. 
stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things. She's right. <laughs> Those men deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than Swan? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy. I'm carrying my own burdens just fine, lady. always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Batman is who I am. Who I need to be. To do what must be done. If that's what you believe, you're lying to yourself. You wear the mask so that you can't be held accountable. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. If we're having a fight to the death, I don't mind letting you see. What's her staff even powered from? Is it just technology? It's not magic, right? It, but it almost seems magical here. Her brother. Whoa. Hold on, Alfred. You... You... You came... You came for me. After what you said... I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. If she didn't know, she does now. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder, do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you- Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. She's gonna kill him, I gotta do it. If that's what it will take to save him. No! Here's your juicy reporter story, Vicky. Must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. 
You're right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. But I am trying to make up for his crimes. I wear this mask to help people. I'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk. She's wavering. I'm a liar when I see one. Whoa! My ear! She's too scared to talk to me. Because deep down, she knows that a part of me is right. Fight, oh my goodness. <laughs> Hang in there, Batman. You gotta get the scepter. That's the source of her power. Stop, Vicky. It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. You want to take revenge on me because my father did bad things. So by that logic, wouldn't you be a bad person? Your parents tortured you. Does that mean that you're gonna grow up to be someone who tortures people? Actually, that's kind of what she grew up to be. Someone who is full of hate. And wanting revenge. What you're doing right now, those aren't sins at all, huh? Save her. I see your true face. I'll never trust you. No. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, 
A spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena? Selena. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Vicky took my secret to the grave. But you couldn't have known that would happen. No. But what's done is done. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Did the city Acting ever have faith? James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask, and one is who you truly believe you are. No, I think the choice here has to be Bruce, because vigilante justice, that's what the children of Arkham try to dish out, and that's what Batman has been doing too, right? So it's like, if we go as Batman, it's like reinforcing that, you know, the, ch the children of Arkham are using the right method. But that's not what we want to say, right? Because we want the city to believe that we can change from the inside out. To be completely fair, Gotham has gone through a lot of shit, so... It's not certain that we can do it from the inside out, but... I'm gonna go as Bruce. Not only just so that we can do this quote-quote the right way, but also because I want to clear up my name, because... My name still holds... 
value in Gotham, and in the future, we could leverage that. Hopefully. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Doesn't the city still hate me right now, though? <laughs> Let's try our best. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. <laughs> Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving? <laughs> What'd you use, a chainsaw? Something like that. Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. It's time I owned my family's past. Take responsibility for what my father did, so we can all move forward. You know, that can't be easy, but I'm glad that you're here. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. Maybe next time. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. If Batman isn't here, it's because he's more needed somewhere else. I wouldn't take it personally. <laughs> Good advice when it comes to that guy. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father. Or at least as a result of his actions. I loved my father. But nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man. Heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, Oh. oh, I'm not too sure. Mm. If we have better police, people won't be going to the asylum. <laughs> that doesn't really make sense, but sure. A closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support with the training and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. What? I'm still very hated. Clear the area. 
get that bastard to lock up. They did that just to show you, hey, maybe it's better if we improve Arkham Asylum instead. <laughs> just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. He's out. See you soon, Brucey. <laughs> oh, that felt incredibly short, but let's go through the choices first. Did you blame Alfred for his involvement with Thomas Wayne? Yeah. Oh, I didn't really say, oh, Alfred, it's not your fault. I, I just kind of brush it aside. Sure. How did you respond to Selena? Yeah, she's more than a thief. Or at least I like to think so. Cause it's kinda it's kinda sad to think that she's just a thief. <laughs> did you take off the cowl? I think that was the better choice there because Lady Arkham was looking for Bruce Wayne. Something to say that he's such a bad guy. His family is horrible, he's horrible, but by taking off the cowl, it shows that no, what you're thinking is wrong. Bruce Wayne is not like his father. Did you attend Gordon's address as Bruce or Batman? Most people, not most, well, majority went as Bruce, but I can't really imagine Batman being on the podium. You know, to me, Batman is more of a behind the scenes guy, so I think this choice is fitting. Hmm. Majority, except for the first one. Again though, I think we're trying to keep it close to 50-50, right? The player choices, but it's pretty... It's not that split this time. And it feels like some of these ones aren't really all that important, like if we regarded Selena as a thief or not. It's not really a choice, it's just what we think. Huh. And I guess that's it for Telltale Batman. Hmm... I don't really know how to feel about this overall. It was okay, I guess. But at the same time, I didn't really feel like it was anything super groundbreaking. Let's start with episode 5. I was expecting a lot more chaos in the streets, especially given what happened last episode with the explosions and stuff. But, unfortunately, we didn't get to see too much of that. It was really Batman, Bruce Wayne traveling all over the town to different isolated places. And of course, as per usual for a non-episode 1 episode, it's on the short side. We basically fixed what was immediately wrong with Gotham, but the way we have it set up at the end there, I think it's pretty clear that they're planning on continuing this. Gotham is pretty broken still right now. No mayor, terrorist group just struck, Joker got out of the asylum, so who knows what's gonna happen next. Uh, I think there were some good bits, but not nearly enough of it. I think it's pretty interesting that they chose to go for changing the Wayne family's background to make it that Thomas Wayne was corrupt and not a good person at all. Not too familiar with the other Batman works, but I I personally haven't seen that before, so that's new to me. Vicky as Lady Arkham, the villain. I, I guess I like that they try to give her some backstory this time, but at the same time, there's still a lot of questions that don't have answers. Why did her foster parents abuse her? That was a bit of a mystery. But at the place where we found Alfred, and where we've had the last fight, you could see a picture of Vicky and her foster brother. So it actually seems like they're pretty close. Not sure what the family dynamic going on there is, because if they're close, but the boy was traumatized by the mom and dad dying, was he not abused? Did Vicky tell him nothing? But yeah, I guess overall, I enjoyed it, but I'm not particularly hyped for a season two. Especially with the Joker coming back, because we see the Joker in every single piece of Batman media already, so... I don't feel like it's gonna be anything super groundbreaking. 
The one thing that kind of detracted from the whole experience was the multitude of technical problems that this game had though. The performance was just awful. Really detracted from the whole thing. But in any case, this was Telltale Batman Season 1. Will we see a Season 2? I don't know. Maybe. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I will see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!